if okay. everyone wants to I'll go ahead and get a get a seat, we're gonna get started. So hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. Um, I believe I was able to introduce myself to everyone in the room, but if I didn't have an opportunity to do so, my name is Tiana Flum and I lead our communications efforts out of the Akron America's Technical Center campus. And this morning, we are going to make an exciting announcement about our continued relationship between Firestone and IndyCar and the impact that it's going to have on the Akron community. We're proud of our heritage in Akron, including manufacturing tires that IndyCar champions have relied on for more than a century, dating back to the very first IndyCar win on Firestone tires in 1911. Overall, Firestone tires have 69 total IndyCar 500 wins, which is more than twice as many of all other tire manufacturers combined. So it means a lot to us to be able to share this news with you, with you all today. As you can see, we have a few special guests joining us, and I'd first like to start by introducing Kara Adams, who is our chief engineer at Bridgestone Americas for the motorsports team. And we also have two-time IndyCar 500 winner, Al Unser Jr. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Kara to share the exciting news. All right, thank you, Tana, and thank you to everybody for joining us here today. We're so glad to have you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Together with IndyCar, Bridgestone Americas is excited to announce a five-year partnership extension for Firestone to remain the exclusive tire supplier to the NTT IndyCar Series and the Indianapolis 500 through 2025. Additionally, in, ex in support of this extended commitment to the sport, we are proud to announce plans to build a new state-of-the-art race tire manufacturing facility right here in Akron, Ohio. The Advanced Tire Production Center will be located across the street from Bridgestone America's Technical Center where we are today, which is home to our Bridgestone race tire engineering team. It'll be a less than a mile for where the NTT IndyCar Series tires are built today, and this will continue on our legacy of Firestone race tire manufacturing in Akron, a very strong relationship that dates back to the company founding back in 1900. The plan will be to tr transition our full team of tire builders and race tire manufacturing to the new facility gradually over a period of four years. We anticipate the new facility will produce race tires that will be tested in the NTT IndyCar series by the end of 2020. As you can imagine, this is a very exciting announcement for us. Racing continues to be the proving ground that drives innovation for our tire technology. In building Firestone tires that can handle the extreme demands of the world's fastest and most versatile racing series, we're able to evolve and improve the technology found in the Bridgestone and Firestone passenger tires available for all drivers. More than that, we are excited about the future and what lies ahead with us with the NDT IndyCar series. The sport it continues to gain momentum, which gives us opportunities to introduce new fans to our brands. And this shows the strength of our relationship with everyday drivers who rely on our durable, dependable Firestone tires. And with that, Tana's gonna come and ask some questions of Al Unser Jr. Thanks, Kara. So again, I'd like to welcome two-time Indy 500 winner, Al Unser Jr. to share some thoughts with you regarding this exciting announcement and what, and what this means to open wheel racing in our long-standing relationship. So from your point of view, what does Firestone mean to IndyCar and why is this partnership so important? First off, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for, for being here this morning. Uh, I'm super excited about the announcement that uh, the Firestone has made this morning, especially with the commitment that they're going uh, into the future with IndyCar Racing. It, uh, it's so important to us, the drivers especially, that are out there running 230 mile an hour knowing that, uh, that your tires are safe. I can tell you from my past with other companies, uh, we've had issues with tires before and, and, uh, 
and it's a scary feeling. It's a scary <coughs> feeling. But with with Firestone, the the years that I've been with them, uh, starting in uh, I believe it was 2000, is when I first put on my first set of Firestones. <coughs> um, I fell in love with them right away. They uh, they come in right away. They last longer than anything that I had ever been on prior, and uh, and there's just the sheer performance made it to where I could go and have confidence to go drive the car as fast as we did, especially going through those corners at Indy. Um, you got to know that uh, that everything's going to be underneath you and stay underneath you. And so um, I'm just super excited about this commitment. It's so important, with uh, especially with the, with the Indy cars, with that kind of commitment, uh, everyone in uh, in indie cars uh, can rely on a good safe tire to take us into the future thanks you you kind of answered my second question <laughs> as well <laughs> regarding your thoughts on the partnership but you know just again drilling home to the, the the partnership and what does this mean to you personally well personally i'm uh, i currently am a consultant for uh, for harding steinbrenner race team we have the two youngest uh, stars in the business on our team with, uh, with Paul Ward and Colton Herta, which is Brian Herta's son. And, and so uh, we're just super excited about going into the season with them especially. And then, and then as the long term, we can start planning uh, for the future of, of IndyCars. And, uh, and it just makes everybody just feel that much better. Not just myself, but um, all the race teams out there, Penske Racing, Andretti, uh, Ganassi, Ray Hall, uh, we all uh, love the relationship with Fire and, uh, and we hoped it continued. And with this announcement, uh, it's just uh, a, a true blessing. Thank you very much. So as you can see, we're extremely proud of this partnership and we're excited to see what the future holds. At this time, I'd like to open up the floor for any general questions that you may have. And then um, Kara and Al will also be available following if you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with them. So questions? Uh, when will construction on the new plant start? Sure. We are starting construction on the new plant this summer, and we'll have a little bit more information on the plant and all of the details behind it when we have a groundbreaking ceremony. So we'll have another media event upcoming at that groundbreaking ceremony. And when do you anticipate it being completed? Uh, I know you said it's been transitioned over four years from, from the current place to here. But right. All of, the, all of the tires will be proven out within about four years, and at that time we'll have the full 50 tire builders and race tire manufacturing professionals, as well as all the manufacturing will be here. You said it'd be across the street, right there, like you got the Firestone yes. softball stadium, but where, yes. where, where's that? Yes, so right on the other side of the Firestone st softball stadium, there's our tire testing labs, our tire testing and innovation labs, okay. and it's gonna be joined in part of that. So part of it will be a new construction and part of it will be renovating the existing construction to support our race tire manufacturing. That facility has also like the prototype manufacturing already, or what, what's there already? Or right now, we do a lot of tire testing, and a lot of our, our innovation labs, our innovation facilities are over there. Um, can you talk about the technology that we're using? Are you going to be using new technology, tire building technology for the race tires? So, you can go into any surprise work. Sure, a lot of those plans are being worked on. And some of, the, some of the technology is going to remain the same, and some of the machines and the equipment will be new and upgraded. So as, as needs of race tires and race series evolve, our needs to be able to support that series evolve. So we'll be working with all of those. How integrated were the two announcements, obviously, for a long-term situation? Yes. Um, would, you, would you like to talk to them? Yes, yeah, so they were in the extent that um, you know when we made the decision to extend the IndyCar we needed to make a commitment that we would maintain the race tire manufacturing in Akron mm -hmm. 
so it was a joint effort to extend the partnership, but then also have the manufacturing capability to support it. So initially our focus was to keep technology jobs and our tire building jobs here in Akron. So we'll maintain all of those tire builder jobs, so the 50 expert tire builders and race tire manufacturing professionals. So initially all of that headcount will be the same, but as the facility will have the opportunity to work on new and advanced technology, those numbers may increase, which may result in additional jobs for the region. Um, a lot of that information will be forthcoming, so when we have the tire groundbreaking event, we'll be able to share a lot of those details. <coughs> Was there any consideration to move elsewhere, you know, incorporate this into an existing facility somewhere else? Really, if you look at the history of race tire engineering and race tire manufacturing in Akron, we, we go hand in hand. We have a great partnership with the city of Akron, um, great collaboration with the leaders in the city, throughout this whole process. Um, we're really proud that they view Bridgestone as a viable economic partner. Um, race tire engineering and race tire manufacturing, manufacturing in Akron just really go hand in hand. So we really wanted to focus on keeping this here. Does anybody have any idea what the last tire factory was built in Akron this summer? That means it's like a decade. Like that is a tire, great question. We don't have an answer to that at the moment, but we can certainly like get it for you. <laughs> Sounds like a Google question. Yes. <laughs> Google knows everything. Yes. Um, well, I wanted a question. That I noticed that when I last time I reported on it was that uh, you signed a two-year extension yes. through this year or end of last year for the existing factories. So this obviously must be an extension as well. Another what the city of Akron or how does that work in terms of keeping what is there there until you until you're ready to move. Um, I think, actually, probably our friends at the city of Akron might oh, be better. What was your question again? Um, we reported about two years ago that the, they had signed a two-year extension to keep the race tire factory there at the, at the, where it is now. So obviously there's an, another new extension, at least for another three or four years, or, or what, how, how should we get? Well, as, as we worked out, and, and Brad can, can tell you, we're going to accommodate their needs in order to be able to transition to the new space. And then we'll look forward to the future to utilize that for the best options for it. But we're just happy that the technology is here, the innovation is going to maintain, and then there's opportunity for growth. And so that's important for us too in Akron. Is, is, the, is the existing uh, building where, where the manufacturing is that going to be in the industrial park next to um, Pink Varnish? Right next door. It's next right. door. Will, will it be part of, oh, will it be redeveloped into that industrial park? It will be a part, yes. Yes, okay. But, but the existing space, we're rethinking its use. Okay. So, and it's been around for a hundred years, so mm -hmm. we're happy about it. The city and county together are, are we think? Yes, yes, we, the, we the will the use of yes. that space. And okay. from the county's perspective, we are thrilled um, to have the long-term commitment has to our organization, to our community, um, and as we talk to folks across the country mm -hmm. about the flyover and why other people go to the East Coast and the West Coast, um, having uh, technology here, having the opportunities here, creating the future and safety for industries is really critically important, and it continues to uh, help us move forward and advance the, the talent pool that we have here and attract other businesses that are aligned or funded with this. So we are delighted and we work hand in hand with the city and the county level to do whatever needs to be done okay. to help our companies. So, 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 so I get it right. Okay. Once, once the move is complete, Firestone will be, or Bridgestone will be completely out of that building. Mm -hmm. The city owns it. The city, owns the city it. and the county are discussing and will discuss ways to repurpose it. Exactly. That might include using it in <coughs> complement the industrial park that is adjacent to it. Is that about right? When we uh, did the Pry building mm -hmm. in Warner, mm -hmm. and we knew that there was some moving parts, mm -hmm. uh, we had hoped as early money that um, that would start kicking off the uh, pathway from the Firestone
and store that's there all the way down here. And we are now seeing that come to fruition. So we're all delighted about it. But we want the best use for the property. And okay. as a community, we'll discuss. Okay. Uh, will, will there be any city or county uh, financial incentives with this move, with this uh, investment? Uh, Still talking about that now. Uh, we need to sit down at the final analysis and do some work. But we're certainly going to give all of the assistance that we can to make sure that this maintains. Uh, this is new value, and, and uh, we don't know. We couldn't think back far enough to remember when the last fire facility was built. It's so, not old. So we, it's not old enough. But uh, we do know, though, that when I was talking to Al, he's got three generations that have driven on Parksville tires. Correct. Yep. Al C. Al Jr. and Al the third. Yep, yep. He's driven on them, too. Yeah, that's true. Yep. So, so, so we, we, we have to work through those details to make sure that we can uh, determine what the most feasible things are that can help to enhance the project so that Akron is around for a long time as an innovation leader. And that's our goal. And to touch a little bit more on that, um, the technology that, that Firestone develops in the race car directly translates into your regular automobile on the street and has for, for many, many years, and that'll continue. We don't know where racing is gonna take the tire as far as how it's built, materials it's built out of, but if you look at its evolution, it has definitely uh, made the, 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 the regular automobile that much safer. Because of the home on slicks today, right? No. No. <laughs> no. Now, what about Formula E? Formula E, as far as, um, I think it's got a great future. I think it's developing. There's a lot of uh, car manufacturers that are getting involved with the Formula E. And, uh, and so, uh, again, it's the future, and, and all the automakers are, are looking for new innovations, new kind of technologies, and so on, so. I, I yep. plan that question because we're here for the future and Formula E, we're prepared for that, and 4.0 in industry series as well. Yeah. We're in a position, Akron and Summit County, to be able to meet those demands. So any other questions? And again, um, Kara and Al are both available following this session. If you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one with them, please let us know. Thank you all for coming. We really appreciate you your guys. time. And Thank to you. the city and county, thank you for your partnership. It's Anytime. We're really excited, and we're glad that you can be a part of it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.